We got a lot to talk about. Oh, my God. Yeah, a lot of shit happened. We're going to open the show talking about Aaron Rodgers, who I used to not be a fan of. Why? But now uh, we'll talk about it. But now what he's done with his vaccine (laughs) stuff is absolutely legendary. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about my experience going to the Danny Duncan live show, the homecoming here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I got on stage. I gave a speech to a packed house of teenagers. We're going to talk about something Austin wants to talk about. He came in here screaming. Yes, yes. He already looks like a meth addict racist with that haircut he has. Yeah, I know. I'm drinking Sapporo Pures, which you will. I'm, I'm going to give some to, to our guest today, who's a fan, and he's a drone photographer. You're very proud of your Sapporo Pure, huh? Yeah, I'm I really can, proud I of could it. sense you as I was introducing the show. He's holding it up like, and eh, we got Sapporo Pure. Sapporo. Why is it so pure? That's Extra what filters. I, it's the first time I ever saw this goddamn beer, and I thought it was hilarious. A Sapporo Pure, like who? Who would order a, who's like favorite beer would a Sapporo Pure? Maybe be? a girl who's trying to pretend she's still a virgin. Yeah. Uh, waiter, can I get a Sapporo Pure? Mm. Because I, I don't open my legs for anybody and my beverage should fall us up. A Mormons. Mormons probably love Sapporo Pures. What's supposed That's to be the difference paradox. between a Sapporo and a, and a Pure? I don't know. A Sapporo is a Japanese beer and this is a pure Japanese beer beer so i would say it's it is very racist no <laughs> chinese or thai people can breed with our sons and daughters <laughs> sapporo pure it's uh i don't know it tastes pretty good though i'm not gonna lie I, i'm enjoying it you and, could probably uh, find out with one scan of the label what actually makes it different leo oh then just a re- well what do you mean it's 90 calories and only 2.4 uh, carbs okay so it's it's, it's just, a light it's a very light sure, version sure, sure, of sapporo sure. yeah the japanese they don't there's so much shame in that culture that if you admit you're gaining weight and you need to diet, they're going to hand you a sword and be like, into your belly it goes. You don't so even, we have the pure. You, you, get on your knees, pure. you get on your knees and you stab yourself in the stomach mm-hmm. if you're fat in, mm-hmm. J- in Japan. So In Japan, you, you don't even need to acknowledge that you're fat. Like I've seen videos mm-hmm. where if, if you're overweight and you just walk around Japan, random people will come up to you and be like, you are too fat. You need to lose weight how, right now. How many bad impressions of Japanese people are we going to do on this show? It was a Dino, lot do it. early on, too. Mm-hmm. Dino, go ahead and do one. Dino, you're a Japanese man. Go. Oh. oh. <laughs> that might be my favorite. That was the best one today. <laughs> that was the best one today. That was the best one today. All right. It's a heavy podcast. I got the no fat chicks, Danny Jesus. Mullen merch on. We're doing impressions of the <laughs> Japanese. Respect. Everybody respect respects the Japanese. Of okay. This is no longer punching down to no. make fun of. And if you don't think that I'm right there, then mm-hmm. talk to the University of California system, mm-hmm. which has curbed. You know what? Universities nationwide have curbed the enrollment of Asians because they're too smart. Mm-hmm. All right. They're done being minorities. Mm-hmm. They're the highest paid people in America. They've eclipsed the whites so we can do their funny voices. So yes. I plan on they don't even care. Japan for like three, four years. Is that because of your love for anime? Uh, partly, but I really just want to learn a second language, hmm. and I, living in Japan mess. is the only way to no, do it. Danny, that. we should really, really honestly push for this move. He needs to go to Japan. I'm just so tired of hearing, well, I want to learn a second language. Adam Fu was studying Italian for a while, and I said, Fu, why are you doing that? He's like, for oh, pussy. well, I might go to Naples this summer. I no, said, I want Fu, a pussy. you're not going, and you're not going to learn it. Ooh, I'll show you. Three years later, he can't even order a rigatoni. Unbelievable. He can't order a rigatoni? He nope. can't just say rigatoni? Not even at Olive Garden. He can't go to Olive Garden and say, I would love a rigatoni. In English, he can't even do that. What the fuck? What I think a piece he, of shit? I, I think he incurred some head injury on the job site. He's a construction dude, wasn't wearing a hard hat. Unbelievable. You're not going to learn Japanese, is my point. My, Can you order ravioli? My purpose for learning Japanese is probably more stupid than that though i just want to be able to watch anime Mm -hmm. and read manga like a week earlier before it gets translated into english not a strong enough is it just because these stories have rape and torture what is it that you like so much about them of course tentacles going up at buttholes buttholes, dude and if i lived in japan i could probably get a Mm -hmm. lot of japanese pussy listen you were you were showing me the hero of one of your mangas all right and you said this man was raped as a child and i was like what do you mean what how do you know that you're like i read it and then I was like, wait a second, in a comic book? So then we pulled it up, and it's the most disturbing image, Danny, of a huge man raping a child. Oh. It's like a 500-pound black yeah. man. Yeah, it's oh. the most oh. fucked up raping. shit I've ever seen in my life. It's and one he, of the most popular manga of all time. When he was it's trying amazing. to sell me anime, basically, as a concept, mm-hmm. this is what he brought up, Danny. <sighs> I was, You asked me what I was reading. This is so why I this generation you. is fucked, 
Dino and Austin are fucked because <laughs> look at what intrigues them. And you know what I'm worried about, Leo? Yeah. Up there at their compound, you know there are nights when they're so smoked out and they're so nocturnal that reality and dreams blend together. Yes. Who's to say that instead of typing in 500 pound black man rapes a four year old mm -hmm. into the manga thingy? Right. They type it into Pornhub. Ooh. The FBI comes a knock in the next morning. Yeah, well, you know they got the dark web like expertise over there. I think that Austin and Dino have like I think it's like a login you need to get into the dark web. I don't have it. I don't know how to get on there. You have to use a special kind of browser like mm. Tor. Okay, which, a weird one. Yeah, so it's like not Google. So he something. knows. Of course he knows. He knows. He's that's how he Google's this shit. He's not using it on. He's not doing it on Google like us idiots over here. Mm -hmm. Google can't access the deep We're going to come back to Austin and his desire to learn a language and whatever made him so angry before the show started. Uh -huh. You have a fan coming, I, have a I fan. understand, I have, though. I have a fan, Ordneal Drone Photography. And Danny, you, you took a look at his drone photography. We're going to talk about his it. His business is drone photography. Yeah. When you first introduced this concept to me, you mm -hmm. made it sound like he can survive off this business. One look at his Instagram page, <laughs> and I know that's not the case. It's He's a big fan of the channel and he's coming into town. He drove an hour and a half to get in here. And as soon as he got here, you fucking asked him to go get you beef jerky. Yeah. You Leo, asshole. Leo said he was here already. And I said, uh, nope, not ready to have <laughs> this guy's bloodshot, squinty eyes looking at me from the couch. He doesn't seem too happy about it. You know what he said? He goes, I guess I can go to a gas station nearby. Say he better. And you know what? Actually, gas station beef jerky is not going to cut it. I want the stuff from Whole Foods. No, Tell you're him to such find an asshole. Whole Foods and bring me back some non-antibiotic raised cows. <laughs> You want me to tell him right now that he needs to go to Whole Foods? No, no. Can you you have to yes. tell him that. He's got to tell him when he gets here. He's got to get. No, you got to have a, a, a fucking blowout with a beef jerky. Uh, sure. I'll get, yes! mad at him. I'll get mad at him yes. because it's AM, PM kind. <laughs> I still don't want to see this fucker yet. What if can you we make him get up? alien beef jerky? What if you make him go to fucking Baker? Or oh, yeah, Baker. Go all the way out to Baker? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's already driven an hour and a half. What's another two? Exactly. What's another two? Austin, can you pull up the Instagram for this kid's photography yeah, page? That? It's uh. <laughs> It's um, or I think it's Ordneal drone photography. Let me. Uh, it's not even drone videography. No, it's drone drone photography. This guy, this came to me last night. See, I was just I had a few drinks and I was thinking about what might be funny on the pod. And I said, you know, I've met this kid a few times. Wait one second. I have to find it. The photos. I looked at them. The quality is equivalent to if you just put your phone on a self timer and then threw it into the sky. Sorry. Odd Neil. O D N E A L underscore drone underscore photography this is awful <laughs> this is something you would see on google images in like 2009 hey, he's a big fan we uh you know i know you're gonna fuck with him but let's be also kind of nice to him dino dino you can't be mean to him all right you're his equal there's uh, let me know when you find it austin i'm looking right now at drone video of a park just a park, an ordinary park. And it said, the caption says, I too can edit bad clips of video to make it somewhat entertaining. O-D-N-E-A-L. Did you find it? Yeah, I got it. All right, cool. And then the footage. Oh, hell yeah, we got it. It's got it. It's up there. Okay, well, we're going to go down, Austin, to five posts ago. It's an old tree and a bench. Mm -hmm. Oh my Let's God. pull that up. <laughs> he says that we have to be signed in. Yeah, to make it bigger, but I'll do it. Okay, he's back, dude. Does somebody want to go get him? Did he's got the beef jerky? He's yeah, got it? He's got the beef jerky. All right, Dino. I suppose go get the beef jerky. <laughs> Dino, go uh, go get him, man. I'm going to piss real dude, quick. Dude, I'm going to have trouble not laughing with this fucking kid, dude. I've seen him. I've hung out with him before. He's he's hilarious. There he is. There he is. What? Yep, that's for Danny. You can hand that over to him. Are we rolling? Yeah. Go ahead and come over here. Over the, uh, yeah, be careful there. And over that one. Sit on the couch. You are going to have a... Oh, he got himself a Slim Jim. That's interesting. Give him a microphone, Dino. Yeah, you know, give him a... Basic give him a, production hey, you gotta, stuff. You got to talk right up, in the, right up in it to get that really crispy sound, right? Yeah, I got a Slim Jim, too, because I didn't know if Danny wanted one. Oh, he's got it for you, dude. I thought he got it for himself, and I, was, I knew you were going to be upset about that, but... <laughs> Jack Links? Leo didn't tell me which brand. I... I said beef jerky. I figured you would uh, splurge a little bit. I mean, he is. Isn't Danny an important figure in your life? Yeah, except I would say that is splurging. Talking to the microphone. I would say that is splurging because Jack Links is 
pretty expensive. Do you want me to die oh. of MSG poisoning? <laughs> say you want me dead. Just say it. Hey, he just said it was expensive, dude. All right, he's he, he put his two cents in. All right, All right he fairness, said it was expensive. I it at like an AM PM. Mm -hmm. and they didn't have the good grass fed beef jerky. Right. So it's literally the only thing I can so get. So you didn't I'm, think? I'm terribly sorry. To pull your used car? How much do you think your car's street value is? 11,000. I doubt that. Plenty. That's what are you, high. What are you driving? Mini Cooper. Oh, so kid, here, take a, a take Mini a Sapporo Cooper. Pure. Yep. Things are getting unplugged left sorry, and right. You know. Here's you didn't think to drive your Mini Cooper again. I'm going to go have to take a look at this thing. I'm going to appraise it myself after the show. You didn't think to, once you saw close. that this was the extent of the selection, drive to a Whole Foods and get me at the very least some old trapper? Well, to make up for that, I brought you a Slim Jim. <laughs> God damn it. He's, uh, he's upset. Look, I'm sorry. I figured, you I, know. I think it's the Slim Jim's giving him penis envy. Open that beer and start fucking drinking. If you come over here and start cracking jokes, yeah. the only joke, it's not penis related. It's about someone's drone photography business. <laughs> Austin, pull up the clip of the tree. Oh. We, uh, I, I have the, is it a video or just a video? It's a video. It's, it's a video. Oh, okay, I'm, then I can sign in real quick. Just give oh. me a moment. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I was first learning the drone. First learning the drone. Yeah, drone Drone photography, drone editing. Look how nervous he got when I told him to. When I told him <laughs> that we were going to talk about drones instead yeah. of jerky, uh -huh. he started crumbling. Well, I mean, look, a man comes here, we uh, we drink over business talk. All right, this is business talk. We need a drone photographer, don't we? Oh. Don't we, Danny? Are we looking for a drone photographer? The Nico Copter is about to be retired. It one is. could say it's not. Uh, it's too small. It's been in a couple crashes. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe in two videos. I, I I believe in Pittsburgh. It suffered a very, very big crash. There's also some stuff on its hard drive that we don't want any authority figures getting their hands on. Yeah, Nico. What are you is, doing? What are you looking what for? What the fuck? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh my oh, god. god! Fuck! He spilled the beer. Yep. Oh, god yeah. damn it! What's that behind you? That's what you're. Whatever. Throw it. Dab it up. Dab that up. Is that Tina's sweater? Is that Austin's sweater? I have no idea. Listen. I'm, I'm sorry for making a mess, coming in here and making a mess. There have been a lot of bum... Listen to me. Dirty. Listen to me. There have been a lot of bumbling jackasses that have sat on that couch. None of them have made a poorer first impression than you. Yeah. You ever try to crack jokes? You got me the wrong food. And you spill a Sapporo Pure, a sacred beverage to the four is, of us. You know how many business deals we've closed with this fucking beer, man? All of them is the answer. Yeah. All. Every single one. What the fuck? Lift up that sweatshirt. I might make you shotgun a Sapporo Pure. Keep beer. dabbing it. It's not dry. You know what? Get on your knees and lick it. <laughs> lick it. <laughs> Given Austin and Dino, there might be enough weed <laughs> shake on that carpet to get you a little high. Dude, you're the man, dude. <clears throat> Can we pull up this? That's the first time I've looked at carpet. You're a fucking legend, dude. I think you. Uh... I bet it is. A yeah. Carpet's a euphemism for vagina, so that makes yeah. sense to me. Pull up that video, Austin. I, I, like honestly, I can't. All God right. damn Google it! Won't Sometimes let me authenticate myself because it's connected to a different device. Apparently. Sometimes I think we have a nice podcast, but the production is holding us back. Huh? I, know, I will say I my pictures are better than video. Mm. The video you watched, it's not the quality of the video. It's that you say Content. in the caption that that video was entertaining. <laughs> you took a drone footage of an empty park in the dead of winter. What's entertaining about that? I had fun flying the drone. It entertained me. Listen, you've been thinking about, you know, uh, you've been coming to my shows, you know, pitching this drone photography business. You know, it's kind of like I your identity. I... It's kind of your identity. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't think I pitched it so far as you should hire me. Just that's my Instagram handle. You don't get any beef jerky. Oh. I can eat into the mic. What you the cannot. What the fuck? No, don't, don't, don't. What the fuck is this, dude? What? So you didn't make enough of a mess with the alcohol? You're going to spit out the beef jerky and put it on the couch? You said you didn't want me eating beef jerky. Put it back in the bag. Heaven knows I want nothing to do with that disgusting <laughs> shit you've procured. I'm not going to be able to say anything this entire pod, dude. Listen. We're still talking business. Just because I hate that video right there doesn't mean we don't need you as a drone <clears throat> photographer. It's true. He did it again! Oh, what the fuck? 
Hey, friend. you can't that, drink. That one's on Austin. Wipe that up, dude. You can't drink. You're oh. not allowed to drink for the rest of the show. Dino, dude, take I, that away from him. I'm just curious what would happen to him if, with a couple beers in him, though, Danny. So I don't know. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should make him shotgun one and see if he makes another mess. Then yeah. he gets to more. That so we get, on Austin. So we can turn into the next Henry Ruggs on his way home. No, <laughs> we're not gonna get this guy liquored up so he can kill a poor girl and her dog. Dude, yeah, man. That, but he was going 156. You would never go 156 in your car. Nope. Good. All right, we're going to... 140s is okay, 156 is okay. Too much. There is. He cracked another joke, Danny. I am tired know. of it. Oh. I'm tired. To get off this subject, Fuck. because we can't pull up his video, the one that make me, that's making me so angry. Let me look at the pictures. Let's... Sure. Let's look at a couple pictures. Yeah, that works for me. Because they're uh, interesting, to say the least. Let's bring up the pumpkin patch. This is... Uh, Ode Neal drone photography. Oh, yeah, that was actually taken with my... Stop phone. it. Stop it. We're looking at it on... I theorized earlier that the way he takes these is he just sets yeah. a self-timer on his phone and throws it into the sky. <laughs> is there any truth to that? Listen, yeah. the, the Do height... Do you own a drone? Yeah. <laughs> the height at which yeah, that pumpkin patch... Commercial drone license? No. Oh, you, stop it. He... That pumpkin patch picture was taken no more than about five feet off the ground. The way I'm looking, you, that was you holding it right about your chest level because Actually, you're about five foot six. Right, what are you? Uh, I have confession on that one. That one I took with my cell phone because I was <laughs> being report. That's when I was with the student newspaper. Danny, if you had a professional drone photography business, would you put cell phone pictures on the Instagram? Yeah, taken from on top of a picnic bench? Yeah. No, right. Leo. And it's also maybe even legally dubious for you to do so because you're saying in the title of this Instagram page that it's drone photography. Right. That's not a drone, is it? Austin, we don't have any audio from him, huh? Uh, we do. I'm trying to get it figured out here. Let's see a little better. Uh, this is part of my rant that we're getting in earlier. We wouldn't have this fucking issue if we just ordered this equipment. So we, we he wants us to order the equipment. We've, we've been trying to wait until the podcast is a little profitable. We'll probably just have to do it then. The podcast, it is profitable. Barely. It makes you plenty of money indirectly through your Patreon and your merch. People like your personality and they support Nobody's you bought, through that. I've sold three shirts. So, I've sold three. All right, and two of them were family. Mm -hmm. All right? So, it didn't help my merch game. Yeah, our AdSense is completely not almost completely non-existent yes. it's, it's mostly because of money since joining the show into the show than either of you have well a fan bought one of these things for you I've to be fair I bought a two thousand dollar camera a one thousand dollar computer keyboard mouse monitor i've spent four thousand dollars and made five thousand five hundred dollars well, since joining. a lot the of this was your stuff to begin with it was your no, why are you why is this why is this outburst coming all of a sudden? We didn't when I said the production was lacking on this show, I didn't I wasn't blaming you earlier about the tree. I was yeah. just talking about how we're generally disorganized. We, uh, we I don't know why you're, we you're coming as, at us yeah, with this right we now. We win as a team and we lose as a team. So this is a team right now. We're gonna the work only on it. I currently have bronchitis. And, uh, an a and I'm in the middle of an asthma attack. Dude! Fuck, I'm, dude. Gonna, I'm seriously going to kick you out of the house. What, what are you doing? You this, dropped... This bag of Chex Mex was already open on the couch. Why, on why, so why are, do you have to spill it on the floor? <laughs> That's what you were... Clean it up. No! Hey, dude, you you're gotta... Welcome. You're going... Go outside. Just for a little while. We'll, okay. we'll call you Time when out. we need you. Time we'll out. We'll call you when we need you. Just sit out there. Yeah, yeah, just just open the curtains. At first it was an act, but I'm actually upset that he was just spilling Chex Mix on the floor. <laughs> I mean, he was just he just sat on him. But honestly, he just sat on him by mistake. But uh, he's pretty, that kid's fucking classic. Dude. I wonder what his room looks like. Oh my. Austin, that continue. Kid's classic, dude. All okay. Right. Oh man. Uh, so I want to say the Patreon thing. I want to clear up. That's been profitable for two months, no. and after what we pay no, you I'm each month, your, your we make five hundred dollars a month. My main channel, Patreon, yeah. People, through this podcast, support you and donate to you on Patreon. Do you really think like it's because of this podcast or because of the main channel? A lot of it is because of the podcast. A lot of people prefer the podcast over the main channel. The views don't see... Okay, I, I love this podcast, but you arguing that the majority of my main channel Patreon audience is from this, I don't think totally no, adds up. I'm saying They're two separate if, things. I'm saying that if you're willing to drop $5,000 into the crypto casino... I don't understand why you won't invest two thousand. Am I betting in a room? Bet show that will make you millions. He's, it is going to make. I his energy is really scaring me right now. Day. He went to Vegas once. I get, dude. I get messages every messages? single day about all of these issues that we have. 
blaming me when I, I'm $2,300 in debt with $11 in my bank account, okay? I've joined this show almost two years ago and have made $5,550 and have invested just about $4,000 extra since I joined. Okay, I can't- And the only reason why I'm here right now with bronchitis and an asthma attack is because the computer constantly has all these problems that Derek wouldn't be able to figure out because there are about 15 to 20 times an episode where we have a lag spike or something. And I've explained this to you. I have to take all of the bonus footage from the extra cameras and the extra audio, and I try to make it look as if nothing <clears throat> happened. And most of the time, people can't tell. Mm. But it's still like Derek would have been able to do the show yesterday mm -hmm. if we would have ordered this equipment. And I've had an Amazon cart filled with the stuff for over two months now, and there's literally no reason why we haven't done it yet. Okay, I will say this. We've been profitable on the show, I want to reiterate, for about two months. Profitable we get no ad sense. I don't, I'm not an owner of this company. I'm not a partner. I'm an employee. If, if the business isn't profitable, then the business owner takes that hit until it is, and they guarantee the employee at least the reasonable means of work that they need, you know, like, that's not my responsibility to keep footing the bill for everything. Well, you've this is the you brought this up a couple of times, like, hey, it might be nice to get this, but it was never as impassioned as this, and never I'm, I'm as very sick. and you I mean, I'm in a you bad never mood, and that's you, part, you, you never sorry, told us, and I'm glad you're doing it now because it's way more entertaining. You've never told us that, hey. On a week-to-week -week basis, the podcast is fucking up because we lack these items. You've never put it like that. You just said, yeah, it'll be nice. We can get one more mic on a stand over here for the guest, and the Dude, quality of the totally cameras will be able true. to say. That, yes, it is true. You, I, you literally never literally start the episode, and you're sitting here, Austin, what's taking so long? Oh, Google crashed. Oh, the computer just restarted. Oh, the fucking thing. We're, we're not tech. We're not tech savvy dudes. You got to be like, hey, the computer needs a fucking, you know, I, how many a, times have I said that? I certain... say that every week. OK, well, we, I didn't know because I don't I listen back to the podcast. I don't rewatch the podcast. So I didn't understand there are weekly catastrophes due to our Jurassic era equipment here. I thought everything was more or less fine and anything else we got would just make it a little better. And I, I even I, talked to Leo and I've, I've mentioned this before where I was like, whoa, it's crazy. I feel like the Patreon episodes are blessed because I don't have all these random issues mm -hmm. all, as often on the Patreon shows as I do for the main channel. I made it. That sounds very, like you're making a joke. What, yeah, I, like, let's be direct and just tell us what you need next time and we'll, we'll I take care of it if we can. I have an Amazon cart that I made two months ago and sent to both of you with every single thing that we need. I, did you get that? Yes. I don't remember. I don't remember it, it either, but I, it's possible. It's possible. But yeah. I did all of the research. I sat down for probably 10 hours figuring out what would be the cheapest and most cost effective way mm -hmm. that we could fix these issues. We could mount a TV on the wall so y'all could actually see what I'm displaying. That'd be sick. <laughs> I wouldn't have the calls dropping and all this shit because the computer can't run Google and five cameras and all these microphones. I mean, we needed the microphones for six months. I've been getting complaints about how I'm a shitty producer because I can't get everybody. Dude, it, I think he's reading Reddit. Well, I think he reads Reddit too. Yeah, much, you got to you got to talk shit to them, dude. It Give them a rant and it was, it rant to us, but also to them. A fan of mine gave me six hundred dollars, and then I spent an additional one hundred and seventy-five. Did you have to send him any nudes? To get this mixer, and then we have all these other issues with the microphones mm -hmm. because we have five different brands of microphone and I've explained this multiple times from $600 to $40 and if you well, want this, me to this fucking was the sugar mama's initial investment all of this shit and make it sound nice mm -hmm. it's literally impossible and that's why people are complaining oh well the guest mic's too quiet well if I turn it up then Danny echoes because we don't have sound foam in here that's another thing that was in the list all right. Well, listen, we're still a low budget operation. Yeah. We, for the last two months, Leo and I have made $500 a piece. There Dude, we are. We're in the green. So many other people have podcasts and they, that make zero money and invest a lot more than that. You don't like my live streams and stuff. I, I'm, I bought a two thousand. Which he makes money off of, by virtue yeah. of being on this show. Mm -hmm. So we're making it sound a okay. little bit like this is a sweatshop here. I, okay. I, I'm not complaining about how much necessarily I get paid. It's mm -hmm. that I see this show as something fucking huge. 
I believe in it. Okay. And just like you believe in your S and P five hundred. <laughs> well, I thought it was the crypto, crypto casino, casino. I believe in now Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is the crypto a casino. casino. With better no. investment. Two thousand dollars into the podcast will make you a hundred thousand dollars in the next three years. So you want two grand from each of us? I want the show to have two grand. You want two grand. Years. Who's to say you're not going to hop in that Hornet yellow <laughs> Mustang and drive to Vegas with that cash? I personally want Odin Neal drone photography's take on this. I don't want him in the room anymore. <laughs> so that's going to be a problem. You don't have a business credit card for the podcast. I had to pay the fucking $250 Vimeo thing and then you transferred me the money or whatever. Like, okay. Why can't we just have a business account that goes towards these daily things. Like he wants an expense had, account, Danny. Somebody rolled over one of my cables and snapped the end of it off. Okay, well, I, did, I had to go to the store. And I didn't know. I didn't know that, Austin. And I want you to know too that my days aren't consumed with when I'm not doing the podcast, beating off an anime. I've got the main channel, which is tremendously time consuming. I have two employees over on that end that are now full time. So that's a big financial drain. The shoots are really expensive. I have months where I don't make a dime from my main channel after expenses. I live in a trailer at my parents' house and I have $11 in this my is bank good. account. This, this I, is good for your growth. Me, I get it, the money shit, but like you're explaining that to somebody that literally doesn't even have enough money to make it to work. I had to borrow money from Derek's graduation gift in order Damn. to fund me even getting here but because it cost me $30 to drive here and back. And then fucking, uh, uh, there was something else, but I don't remember. $30 to drive here and back. Well, you make that every episode. I you make, make, you make I, I started when I first joined the show, I made $50. An episode. It's been almost two years. Now I make a hundred. Mm -hmm. I have made five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars since joining the show, and have made over a hundred episodes of, or almost a hundred episodes of the show. Don't take any that's, credit for producer Ben's work. Be careful not, now. No, no, no. I'm talking from great. the Rat Dick Ralph situation. I did all the mm -hmm. math. Okay. Well, you sound I've like already spent four thousand dollars into the. You show. sound like you're going to kill us. Tell me about the four thousand dollars you've spent, because I know a lot of this was your equipment from long ago. Yes, when I first. <laughs> came up to you guys and I said I can help y'all take the, the podcast from one camera mm -hmm. to multiple mm -hmm. that's what I said and then we wanted to add in Collins and we wanted to add in fucking uh, sure. pulling up things on the screen all so you bought stuff. so I had to get things that accompany that what'd you get that. what are the things and when I first joined this channel I would bring my entire desktop setup every day, two hours early mm -hmm. for the first like 30 well, episodes. Well, if, if you shoot quinceañeras. I built this entire equipment every single time and took it down. Mm -hmm. And then I invested in new monitors, a keyboard, built an entirely new computer. So these are all new. But Everything here is new. Most of it's new. What's not new? One of my cameras, my video interface, uh, one of these is my cameras. Cables. So there are two new cameras. Two new Sonys were purchased. Yes. Well, okay. I had one Sony already, and mm -hmm. then I bought another $2,000 Sony later. And then I spent about $1,000, maybe a little more, into the computer st stuff. And then there's all these other random audio cables and video cables and stuff that are about $15 each that add up over time. And uh, things have broken, and I've had to replace them. I thought all these cameras were here when you got here. If I'm wrong, I apologize. If you got an extra Sony, but you do use that Sony to take underwear photos of anime, bitch. So I feel like it's sort of for your own personal gain. Well, let's bring in photography kit. Oh, Sony Neil, come so in. That Derek could have the action cam. Okay. And I appreciate that. And Derek also has been here for like a year. Are you going to keep your fucking shit yet. together this time? You're not going to drop anything? You're not going to make a fucking mess? Dude, look at that. I know, it's incredible. You got to clean that up. You have to clean that up while we're working this out right now. Dino, can you get up and close on that couch? I don't even know your... What's your actual name? Logan. Okay. Why was it okay to spill the checks mix? Danny, I... Look, you couch. said you said it right. It I wasn't mean, left on the couch outside of the bag. You said it... It's on the I floor, mean, too. The open bag is on the couch. <laughs> Logan's... Logan, did you hear the argument that we've been having about Austin complaining about the equipment and stuff like that? Did you hear it? What do you think? What are your what's your take on it? Speak back into the silver microphone for me. This one? Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. That is right into the mic, dude. Play it down there. Ah, this is unbelievable. 
What are your th- what's your thoughts on the matter? I don't know. I think the equipment they brought in is theirs. That's kind of what's required. That's what they're paid for. All right, to bring in the equipment. Any equipment in. that they had. It's to like buy when you get somebody to cut your fucking grass. Yeah, but bro, are you rinsing, responsible the for their lawnmower? The equipment that I brought, if like, if you actually wanted to like hire someone to bring all this stuff on a daily basis, it would cost you way fucking more than that. Renting a two thousand dollar camera for a single day alone is about fucking what you pay me. So I, I don't like it. That it's a it's a blessing that I even leave all of this stuff here. I, we don't do anything with it when it's here. What are you talking about? Well, then it would have to be deconstructed and reconstructed before every single show, and then we'd have thousands of issues where oh, one microphone's not working, Danny. He didn't get set up. I don't know what's going on. You have to leave things in place. I, th- I thought yeah, you were going to complain about medical statement. bills or something. Why'd you even come today, man? You sound, you sound like you just don't want to be here at all. I don't know why He's I'm so riled sick. up. It's, I've been really Like You're, you're complaining about leaving the stuff here as if we have like a side hustle where we make a bunch of money off your equipment? No, that's not Austin, what I'm saying. We He's make- saying that I get paid because I brought all my equipment here. I Logan, was responding Logan to his that. point. And... Mm-hmm. I bring all my equipment here and leave it here and use it for the show basically for free. You're paying me for my time and the editing and uploading. And then now I pay what's his name and I put the things on Spotify and stuff. I don't get any extra money for that or anything. I never ask for anything extra. And I don't even really care about me making money. Mm -hmm. I mean, the live stream thing is like one thing, but exposure doesn't pay the bills. And I haven't gained a subscriber on my channel in months. And I can't keep relying on the same five, like 15 to 20 loyal fans of the channel to just give me money for literally fucking no reason. It's, it's one, Logan, I feel you, kind of bad, but it's not consistent. Do you watch Austin's live streams, Logan? I've seen a couple of them. I don't watch. Did you ever give him money? Uh, no. Give him five fucking bucks right now. What do you have in your <laughs> wallet? What do you have in your wallet? <laughs> give him that beef jerky. He's hungry. <laughs> Hey, Logan, yeah, yeah, hey, Logan open your fucking wallet, dude. What do you got in your wallet, dude? Beef, jer- beef jerky is worth more than $5. I was okay. Like nine. Give him the fucking beef jerky, dude. Okay. Danny getting the beef jerky was a great idea. Yeah, I, I mean... In mind, he made me spit some beef jerky back in there. Yeah, that happened. Dude, I love Logan, dude. You're I did. fucking hilarious. There is uh, the saliva-y piece of beef jerky. And I don't know if stupidity is contagious, but if it is, look out. I'm in grad school. Stop it, so mean him. You're what not, do you do, dude? What do you actually fucking do? Well, right now I'm just a full-time student. Nice. I do, yeah. What about your photography business? We were talking so, about acquiring that yeah, from that, you. So I made that Instagram account because I applied for this job where I like, I work for like a guy who, or the job was this guy's marketing firm and he does stuff for car lots. So he was looking to hire a photographer for that. And as part of the, that. You got his number, man? <laughs> I, I do you have his number it. yeah i think but, if yeah, you so, should text him and maybe give him a call while you're on yeah, the pod here for that job he needed me to make like an instagram page with my all the photos i've taken we should get as, like, a in an argument so with the guy about, I, I assume about how he works my, for us now that's what the instagram page is for yeah, yeah. can you I, speak then, closer uh, like yeah. like you're making out with it yeah well then uh i had an interview for that and then he ghosted me in the interview and never it, it's, it's probably guy. it's probably because he took one look at the instagram page yeah no, he he liked everything on there. I yeah. was just waiting for my. Did he say it like this? Oh yeah, it looks great. Awesome. No, this was over the phone. He was like, yeah, it looks great. You want? You saw it? Then scheduled me for an interview. The next yeah. time you called him, did it say that number had been disconnected? Uh, no. I think he blocked you. How many times did you follow up? Uh, did you follow up one too many times? Yeah, I th- I think I called him like 15 minutes after the interview was supposed to start. And then, like, three hours later, I sent him an email, which is basically, hey, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. You sent him an email after the interview, and, and you called him before the interview? I called him I called him after the interview was already uh-huh. supposed to be started. I was waiting for him to call me. Mm, that's a little clingy, don't you think? It's a little much, don't you think? I don't think it's too much in today's climate. Mm. In today's work climate, you basically have to be married to your job. Mm. You hear that, Austin? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Austin, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... I, I, I apologize. I no, it's okay, man. Absolutely. Well, you you haven't made these concerns very uh, urgent before. I thought 
by investing $2,000 into the podcast, things were just going to be marginally nicer, a little bit better audio quality for the AV nerds out there, and maybe the the camera colors would match up. But if it is a fundamentally difficult thing to get through a podcast because of what we are working with now, then yeah, we probably have to put some money into this thing. Yeah, and I've said this once before where... We, when we originally were like, okay, we haven't gotten our sponsors yet. We're not going to buy all this stuff. And I said, okay, well, I at least need six to $800 to upgrade the computer. And then... If you, if if you, you got remember, six to eight hundred, remember that. If we got 800 bucks that. to upgrade the computer, for me and me and Danny were thinking, like, what, is he going to get an iPad? You know what I mean? We don't know anything. And, and also, Austin, I just don't remember these talks as being very urgent. I remember around July we were talking about this, but then I went on break. And again, it just seemed kind of like, yeah, we could take it or leave it. I can be too since, timid. Yeah, yeah but sure. and, and since then, it's, I mean, when you and Dino were here, we bullshit. We talk about other personal life stuff. We never talk about hardware and how the show is going to go down. We don't have a pre-show. So really, me and Leo sit down, talking in the mics, and that's it. We assume it's under control on your end. I apologize. If you want the show to be more profitable, you got to take a little bit of responsibility on your own, too. And yeah, man, I, I understand that $100 per I, episode I you do. I have put plenty of resp- I, I literally have invested more money into the podcast. But you don't even review. tell us. Like, you, we, I've, well, I don't even I remember an announcement. I told you it with the day, hey, I got a new fucking camera. <laughs> like... Yeah, but it we was $2, we $2,000. We think we think that that's your for your own personal use and you're bringing it to help the pod, you know, sharpen up the pod. We don't know that it's no, like No, it's because we have specifically a, for the pod. We have a $2,000 main camera mm-hmm. pointed at you guys. Mm-hmm. And then we have like a 500 and like a $400 camera. Like those we should have four $2,000 cameras. It, like there are the people would fucking kill for a podcast this successful and wouldn't no question in their mind do that decision like it's mm. it's completely obvious do which decision to, to just get nicer cameras like it's something so simple all of our shit looks different did you open up your fucking mm-hmm. wallet yet logan yeah i but i mean austin you can see why it's tough for us though because dude i mean spending is a problem for me man i with payroll total i'm paying about seven to eight grand out per month to other people plus shoots and yeah dude i try to save a little bit of money sometimes for myself too because it's a volatile industry drop and drop i drop work drop. really hard and have drop been working drop. really hard for a long time <laughs> austin you get austin we pay you austin we pay you on the podcast your hundred dollars per episode and patreon episode per week and i like to think i'm pretty generous about giving a filming with you during the week sometimes too patreon video here we just went up to portland you you cashed a cool 250 there so i try to give you opportunities man and i don't mean to underpay you i don't like underpaying you i just underpaying me is not the issue that's not what i'm complaining about if i really wanted more money i would just tell you to pay me but you said you didn't have enough money to have spent on gas to get here i said i don't have enough money to keep upgrading all of this equipment when I'm broke. And I get messages we, every single day about never, all of these issues. But you're making it, it sound like we're cracking like the whip. Like, upgrade this, upgrade that. And No, I, it's the entire audience. You just don't read comments. Well, we try not to because they're they're pretty gnarly. You have much. to face that shit, dude. I read um, every single hate comment and shit that I get, and I tank that like a boss but, because I don't give a fuck, yo. It sounds like they got in your head tonight, today. <laughs> it does. It sounds like they got the no, better of you. I'm comments. allowed to. Agree I think the with pod them. is not that, dude. I think the quality of the pod can improve, but people should understand with with a pod that makes basically zero money, this is not bad. I think it's this not is even the quality. Well, literally. Doesn't fucking work. Some, I have to dude, edit in Bill, about fifteen li- or twenty. I listen to Bill Burr sometimes. Every and episode. Bill Burr is fucking. He he records it on his himself, and it sounds like shit sometimes. And that's Bill Burr, dude. I don't. I don't think we're. I think you're getting not giving we yourself enough credit. We would have hundred thousand. You're not giving yourself by now. You're not giving it yourself probably enough. Probably would get twice as many views. If just if the we quality was made better. These improvements a long time ago. Yes. It wasn't because we found Herpes Girl or fucking I don't know Hobbit Hand Hooch. And also or fucking Odin Neal drone photography i'm saying if you read the comments you would see that it's like every single person is saying the same thing then maybe that means something this is again the first time you've brought it up in an urgent fashion and also you kind of laid on us that your viewership has gotten stale on your live streams no it's not that it's that you're saying oh well you're on this show and you're getting paid in exposure or whatever it's like dude 
I don't really make that much on my live streams. I've got like 20 people who sit there and hang out with me. I've got people who are truck drivers and fucking wash dishes at restaurants sending me fucking $15 every once in a while you, uh, because they feel bad. Well, we've me. never rationalized. I can't remember us ever being like, hey, we don't need to pay Austin because he's cashing out on his you live streams. You just said that today. I, I can't think of in the past. We were probably joking and I was talking shit to you. But in the past, you have bragged about how kick-ass your live streams are and how much money you're making and you're double teaming girls on the beach with Cigar Guy. So me and Leo were like, oh, that is cool. He does have a revenue, an me, avenue for making money outside of this how podcast. Me making $1,000 on like my best month live streaming isn't killing it. I was just happy that since I was 12 years old, mm. I've wanted to, like, I've been making YouTube videos and stuff, and just being able to make any money off of doing what I like but, was cool. So you're making two grand on a good month no, for I mean, showing up here twice a week. Listen. I, I, I said on my best month. My past paycheck on YouTube, I think, was $500. Before that, it was 350 But if you hustled a little more, if you did what it took to get a larger live stream audience, which it's not all on us, dude. I'm sorry. It's well, You can't always count on our view count providing you a new audience to donate on streams. But well, if I come here on a Monday and I record the podcast, so I can't really stream because I have to edit it and get everything done. And then my cameras, I can't share the battery between that and my live streams. And then when the podcast comes out, nobody watches my streams because they're all watching the podcast. And then I come back the next day do the patreon show what about I have the entire edit. weekend i mean Austin. Well, on the week yeah that's when i stream that's how i make my 500 or whatever dollars i got like 20 people watching me at a time Austin, it sounds like you're making about 1500 to two grand a month and i just want to remind you that i have worked eight hour shifts five days a week in restaurants to make that much money yeah. getting screamed at by a drunk italian yeah. manager mm -hmm. you show up here twice a week and yeah you do drive out the commute is not that easy You're for you. You're still missing my point. It's that I am willing to invest in this show because I believe in it. That's Even good. though I don't have any fucking money. In about every dime that I've ever made since I was 12 years old, I have spent investing in this dream. I have one goal that I want to accomplish before I fucking die, and that's build a castle. And I've, I, the I last thought it was to learn years, Japanese. The last 10 years of my life... I, I, I've been fucking it's been planned out like I, I learned how to do all this podcast stuff or whatever and now I'm in this position and the, the show it, it's amazing and it, I just think that it deserves better I don't even care if you fucking pay me more I enjoy just coming on and hanging out with you guys but it's we, um... it, 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 it's very clear how much of a fucking difference it would make and how much there there's an outcry from the audience that we have all these fucking very obvious problems. Mm. Are all the crumbs off my couch? Yeah. <laughs> do you play World of Warcraft? Dude, he's kind of legit, this fucking guy. <laughs> Logan, um, how long have you been a fan of the, the Danny Mullen regime? A couple of years now. My brothers introduced me to it. Nice. What's your favorite video? Well, because I used to be a Bakersfield native. It would mm. probably be worse down in America, Bakersfield. Mm. Mm. Have you ever talked shit about me on Reddit? No. I don't believe it. Ah. Cool bullshit. I'm taking my second. Bullshit. You motherfucker. The, the have you ever talked shit about the production value of this podcast? Yeah, on tell Reddit? us the fucking truth on Reddit, the have you? The only time I have talked shit about Leo was when I called him to this podcast for the Patreon podcast call-in episode. You son you of a bitch. Yeah. What did you say about me? Oh, uh, Danny started grilling me about, uh, like, what do you and your girlfriend do? How often do you have sex? What do you do? Uh-huh. And I said that, you know, we're both Christians, so we're saying until marriage. I'm a virgin. Praise God. Wait, Praise you're God. a virgin? Yeah. Danny, he's a oh, virgin. He's a better Christian than me. Did yeah. you hear that? Mm. Yes. A girl I love on that. Bumble yes, said it. that I could Give take me a pound on the, on the old... Do you, have a, do you have a girlfriend, though? I do, yeah. How long have you guys been together? What month? Over a year now. Over a year, yeah, and you guys make out? Do you ever get naked? And, uh, you know... I'll tell you what we do when we're not being recorded. Oh, come on. It's okay. God would... First of all, God doesn't care if you're a sexual person. He made us sexual beings. You know that. The Jewish religion actually believes that the third person in the bedroom while you're having sex is God because when you ejaculate, you are so close to him. Yeah, that's the closest mm -hmm. you could ever be to God. That's yeah. the...
That's the, what I've heard the, from my the Jewish Orthodox. Reason, I'm not marital sex is a sin is just so that you don't have kids out of wedlock and they grow up to shoot up schools and shit. I, I think it was Danny, more this STDs. guy is a Christian virgin. I remember this guy. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, that yeah, Patreon yeah. podcast yeah, so, calling. Uh -huh. Yeah. So then Danny said something about like, "Oh, well, here's what you should do to you know, break the ice and get laid." And I said, "You know, what? I was just going to pull her off the side and ask her to suck my dick." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Is he signed up for your Patreon too, Leo? I don't know if he signed. That's up a move you would teach have on you there. Been on, have you been on my Patreon? Have you signed up for my no, Patreon? No. No, after moving to San Bernardino uh -huh. and like not having any uh -huh. friends, uh -huh. I actually considered signing up for your Patreon yeah, for yeah. like the you know to have like I would help San Bernardino microphone. moving so, from yeah. San Bernard moving from Bakersfield to San Bernardino is like abandoning a life raft mm -hmm. for like a floating log. You're on yeah, the floating so, log now. So, I think actually maybe a floating log to a life raft. Like at least he's dry now. So he's at least dry now. Does it rain in Bakersfield? Worse. No, he, what do you he mean went dry? from Bakersfield to San Bernardino. San Bernardino is an upgrade over What do you Bakersfield. mean by dry? Like he's out of the water. So, so, Are yeah. you sure San Bernardino is an upgrade for Bakersfield? I think personally, yes. I've I've spent some yeah, mo a lot is. of time in both. I had a job in Bakersfield, and I used to play baseball mm -hmm. in fucking Riverside and the Inland Empire and fucking uh, San Bernardino a lot. It's yes. better. It's so, better. Yeah, it's so better. I'm living on campus at the university. Of what? CSU San Bernardino. Oh, Fuck yeah, God, dude. dude. So, what, he's so saving money, Danny? That's <laughs> miserable. Dude, what do you mean? CSU he's San out there. Bernardino. I got a video idea. Oh, they, my God. The school have... mascot's a pregnant Mexican girl. No, they, they that have... is... Wait a second. Probably I have to accurate. process that. that, that, that took is... me a second. I have I to process <laughs> that. I have to process that. How do you feel about him saying that about your school, first <laughs> of all? Because funny. I know you know there's a lot of Latinas there. <laughs> And that is just derogatory and absolutely out of control, Danny. I don't know. I have to defend my Latinos. That is wrong. What do you think about it, though? I don't care much for school pride, so mm. I don't care what he says about the school. But it is one of the... Are you offended is what he's no, asking. I'm not offended. What okay. is the actual mascot? I think it's a coyote. You think? Yeah. Danny needs to coyote. change that. You need to start selling shirts of the fucking... Dude, I think we go UC to... see Santa... Whatever it's called, fat Mexican chicks, yeah, and pregnant Mexican, yeah. and they're not eighteen. They're not eighteen. Yeah, but, the pregnant girls. But you piece of shit. That the just be, they don't all get oh, pregnant yeah. as so if, early. As if I invented underage Latina pregnancy. How am I a piece of shit? Why are they so fertile? And not only that, they have very low cases of autism in their kids. And not only that, they also have very their the cultures. The Mexican culture has almost no colon cancer. Yeah, maybe it's, it's they the start spicy food. So fast. Excuse me. Maybe they, it's because they start having children so young. Is that a joke? <laughs> he's being. He's right. He's right. I don't no, know what. It, no, it is. I mean, you are your. I mean, you're. It's yeah. A joke what, and it's, it's true. true. Yeah. Having a child young will not. You know, it will not. It's not going to confirm that you're not going to have an autistic kid because it could happen. But it's you. You have a better chance for sure. We were talking about this the other day, though. I mean, Mexicans and like. Middle Eastern people, they're really good with like family units, and they, they you don't see a lot of homeless to them. No, nah, even if they are having like fucking eight babies, and when mm -hmm. they're sixteen, you know? I think I think like your parents for sure will get tired of Dino around the age of like twenty three, twenty four. If he's still at home by twenty three, twenty four, they're gonna they'll, they'll they'll risk him living on the street. They've already threatened to kick me out like three times. I think they're Austin. Me. I think Dino is the youngest is always the baby, Leo. Mm -hmm. I think if my parents. There's a fire, there's a flood, or forced to save either me or my pregnant sister. They're saving me. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, buddy, your parents are going to let you fend for yourself. Why do you think that? I don't you know. You spent some time around my sister? I, you know about her relationship to Laura and Gary? I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to just say it. You know, your mother, she, she looks at you a little like she thinks you're a sick bastard. You know what I mean? And, and she, it, her, it's her daughter. You know what I mean? She dressed her... You know, she put she put those little outfits on her. Let me say that's, I'm gonna say this right now. We had a hairstylist named Frank in Sacramento. We cut our entire family's hair for the period of about ten years. Ten years. This guy. Well, first of all, the point I'm making is he said that my mom favored me. He said, "Danny, I think your mother favors you. I just want you to know." But on a tangent now, this guy was radically in the closet. He was a homosexual. He was a hairdresser who spoke with a lisp. I think he might have favored your asshole. But I think so, too. Yeah. He certainly favored me over my sister. But uh, he, this was the end of my parents doing business with them. Mm -hmm. He got divorced from his wife. Oh, yeah, his career before being a hairstylist was a woman's shoe buyer for J.C. JCPenney. Mm -hmm. That was his career before hairdressing. His wife divorced him. 
probably because of a covert rendezvous in the bushes with a fellow. I think she only he only wanted to do anal every single night. Probably. Yeah. And make her wear a, right. uh, a, uh, a mustache. Uh, or a, a mustache, mustache, but not only that, a, a, a fucking football helmet. He had an old football helmet that he kept over the mantle. Sure. One of the leatherhead helmets, <laughs> like we wore in our video last yes. year. He had a leatherhead helmet, and every night she had yeah. to wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that movie with uh, George Clooney? Leatherheads. Yes. Do you think that's his good favorite movie, flick? I, that he didn't know. I think I think he hates that movie. I don't think it did I'm too well. I'm not talking about George. I'm talking about this guy. Oh, that this, guy. This hairstylist, yeah, 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 though, sure. he one day, fucking when my dad's getting his hair cut, it's like a September, not a special occasion at all, he goes... Hey, Gary. <laughs> and my dad goes, yeah, Frank? Look at what I got. He pulls a locket out of his pocket, opens it up, and it's him, this 60-year-old closeted gay man, embracing, like, a 17-year-old Filipino girl. No. He goes, she's a mail-order bride. I got her from the Pacific Islands. No. She lives with me now. The rest of the haircut happens in silence. My dad gets up, pays, doesn't tip, walks out, never goes back there again. How do we get in contact with this guy? We could probably look him up. <laughs> but the point was that he said my mother favored me. And then also, when both me and my sister, or rather, when my sister moved out of state to go to Detroit, my mom, because I just moved out too, the nest is empty, my mom got a boy dog. Oh. A boy dog. It's all in the dog choice. It's all about the gender oh. of the dog. I think that your mother misses your your uh, sister now, though. You know, she's been out there, Michigan, being adventurous. You know, she, she's getting she, married. She misses her, but not as much as me. And I've presented compelling evidence to make my case. Well, I get, I get that you got a boy dog, Danny, but at the and end also of the, the day, gay hairstylist. She favors you. She favors me, dude. You that guy favored your asshole, though. We went over that. He was into you. He wanted to have sex with you, Dan. You think he was just buttering me up like you do so many women? Oh, my God. Yes, he was buttering you up. And for sure he touched you and your brain made it go away. It made it like it never happened. Yeah. But he might have diddled your your huge nutsack because that's probably what a, a gay man would Okay, I started for. getting my hair cut by him when I was like 16. So oh, I don't think this is a suppressed remembered. childhood memory. Hmm. Yeah, you're full of shit, Leo. Well, we should I'm keep the digging. We should keep digging because there's going to be something. We'll find it. And now we have a Christian man. And he might be able to help you find it too, because he he's with God. He's closer to God than us. He can't help us do anything. All he can so? do, all he can do, is make my house a mess. <laughs> he did, he did come in here and just bumble it up. It was, it was incredible though. It was really, really funny. I'm a little bit clumsy. So what are we gonna do with this drone photography thing? What's the future? What is the future? You want a job? Well, listen, we're going to need a little bit more, uh, you know, a better portfolio. You're not quite ready. We're not hiring you yet. But you got what it takes, kid, I think. I see potential in you, I guess I Logan. Can, like, fly my drone around campus and take you can also talk into the microphone oh, all yeah. the way. If like, you you literally, your lips have to, like, Like, listen, it, like, come right up in there, dude. Yeah, so, right up in there. Yeah, so I guess I, I still I have my drone in my dorm room. I just haven't used it for anything. But I could like take pictures of stuff around campus to build a better portfolio. Have you filmed yourself <laughs> masturbating with your drone? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna tell you if you film yourself masturbating with the drone, you you have a job. Can right? I, Danny, he I, has a job. I got another story, dude. <laughs> I got when I was a kid, there was some hookup to your PlayStation Two where you could play games like it was an early Wii. You could juggle a soccer ball by just kicking alone in your room. Wow. You could shoot a bow and arrow by just going like this. I forgot what it was called. Mm. It was you know how when you just want gifts as a kid, you never had a game system, but mm. these guys probably know. Yeah. You just you're like fuck it, I'll get this game and that game and get me Dave Mira's BMX and so whatever and Kelly Slater's cock sucking surfing. You just get games and like you don't even play a lot of what them. What was the cock sucking uh, surfing? One? Well, it's a hybrid game where it's fifty uh percent -huh. surfing the waves, fifty percent deep throwing the balls. <laughs> Wow. So you would, uh, how would you, you would just hit A over and over again and the guy's head would go up and down on a cock? That's pretty. You, you hit C over and over again. I've C played, over I've and over played again. a sex game before like that. I'm sure. I've played, yeah. I, I mean, haven't we all tried those? You've never, you know, you know those that come up, they advertise. I did a video out? of it. Oh, you did a video of it. I did a video about it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was what, an old school one. What I was getting at though is uh -huh. I, for this fucking camera, mm -hmm. I like took a recording of myself beating off. I was like, I was like in fifth grade, and I then I after I fucking jizzed all over myself at the oh. climax of the video, I turned around and I spread my cheeks and filmed my own asshole. I wish that I had something. 
to what? say about that, but I'm a little speechless. If you found the uh, bin under my childhood bed that has all of my PlayStation 2 uh, contraband games, everything, you could ruin my life. Ah, uh, dude, you need to burn that next time we're at your parents. Why it, does that exist? Still? It, it could probably actually go for a lot on the black market because I was yeah. well underage, and really? I'm just jerking off and then showing my asshole. Why did you do that, dude? I have a similar story of like some chicks on Omegle were like, "Oh yeah, we'll show you our fucking tits and stuff. You show us your dick." So I was like, "Yeah, all right," and I showed him my dick. It was an old man, and then I realized that like they started typing when they weren't touching the keyboard. And uh, then I was I'm probably on the deep web somewhere as like a child porn video. Mm, so uh, hopefully I've gotten some views by now. Your, your cock's all over the internet now anyway. You should get used to it. <laughs> did you, right. uh, wait a second. Did you, you Christian bastard Logan, did you see Austin's penis on Twitter? Everyone did. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone. It was only up for about an hour and a half. So you had to be quick. <laughs> To get to uh, it Logan on Twitter. Was quick. Yeah, it went up on Reddit pretty after that pretty fast. I'm so he does your, spend time on Reddit, huh? I'm gonna check your Reddit, dude. I swear to God, if there's hate, I'm gonna end. Can I'm just gonna right stomp now? you out outside. We I should will stomp you out outside. Can we pull up your Reddit? Oh, sure. dude, he's he's a sweetheart. He's gonna. What if he's like defending me when I was like in the down in the dumps? I'm gonna be so sad. And then I'm going to refund him for his beef jerky and buy his gas on yeah. the way home. If he if he defends us in the Reddit, we're definitely gonna buy his gas. Sure. And, yeah, yeah. Sure. We'll if see. you give us kindness and we we don't even know, like we don't deserve it from you. I guess I guess we do deserve it from some people. But this is nice. This is an Edward Snowden like moment. We are gonna is. surveil his Reddit account. Yes. You're pulling it up right now. Yeah. How much time do you need? Oh, buddy, we want to Mr. talk about the Christian? porn. Mr. Christian? It's Mr. Okay. Jesus? We won't talk about the porn, it's, buddy. It's specifically about uh, uh, sex, not porn. Okay. Okay. Get, get up in there, What's though. What's specifically get up in about sex, not what porn? What are we talking about? Leviticus? What? Yeah, so, uh, I wish I could see what he pulled up right well, there. Porn also didn't exist 2,000 yeah, years ago, so that's kind of a mute There point. was a chick with her tits out on a pot. Uh, they okay, just yeah, so, spoke, and I have no idea where they like communicated about. Do you? Like the, He mentioned Leviticus out of nowhere, and I was confused by it. And all of a sudden, I mean, Austin it, says there was no porn in 2000. Yeah, I think ago. Austin's just throwing some shit out because he mentioned the Bible and porn. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what he had. I don't know if it sounded like he was on Reddit. He's deleting posts right now, Leo. We if need to get that phone away from him. I will. Uh, dude, I swear to God. Give us the we'll phone. Know. He's deleting sex posts. On I don't care about the sex posts. I won't even mention them. He probably right, already so killed. We're, we're, he already killed. Should we go, Danny? Posts. Should we go comments or posts? What do we click on? I don't really know. I think it would be. We'll look at his posts first because there are going to be fewer of them. All right, posts. Uh, this. I'm not going to. He he posted love for landlords. I don't know why. Should we? Re, we're only going to read Danny Mullen stuff. Or love should we for really, landlords? No. I mean that's probably. Not, it's a funny. He's story. a good patriotic American who wants landlords to be able to collect rents yeah, despite yeah. the COVID lockdown. I don't see. Anything. I like that. I okay. Yeah. All right, so he's okay. The first post I see about Danny Mullen, fifty nine days ago, is really not. I like it. Does anyone know the name of the music journalist from the Strokes video? Hmm. I know her first name is Katie, but I want to see if she still works at the publication that sent her to Danny. What were you trying to do there, buddy? Yeah. Uh, I was curious to see if she still had a job. I like it. It's fair. She still believes, by the way, that that ruse. Oh, was real. oh, oh, Danny, you're gonna like this next post. He posted something, a little joke about Dino's girlfriend. What does it say? It's titled Dino's Girlfriend, and it's a picture of an anime bitch, and it says, thanks for not saying based, cringe, and poggers in front of my parents. <laughs> I know that took restraint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep scrolling down. I like this guy. He has a Q QAnon post. Um, <laughs> I'm not a fan of them. 86 days ago, he wrote, is Reckless Ben dead? <laughs> mm. He did a video in front of blah, blah, blah. Good. Not, not much to that. Let's continue. Oh, God, he made another joke. Dude, this guy just provides absolute great stuff to the Reddit. Another joke. Just got my John Anthony special order. Tested and proven to get you laid by the great John Anthony. And it's Rufalin. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh, okay, he's one. Oh, uh, dude, he gave me some love, dude. I'm about to cry, dude. That's so sweet. What does it say? It says Leo is a pretty good podcast host. Oh, all right. He passes the test. There's yeah, no sure. way after seeing all this that if we go back six dude, months, this it just gets dark. Dude, oh, dude, Logan, you're the man, dude. All right, I forgive you for spilling things. I'm, I'm sorry for being... Money. I feel... I, I, for, I apologize for being so harsh about you spilling the checks mix everywhere mm -hmm. 
and the well, Sapporo Pure. Yeah. So, but his drone photography business is abysmal. And it's not good. It's, it's fucking. It's, it's not a business. Listen, buddy. It like I said, it's, it's literally just it's a or, it's O'Neill drone photography on Instagram, and that to me is a business. That's the beginnings. It's the makings of a business. Makings. Yeah. I just haven't done anything with it. Still got to <laughs> get closer to that microphone, buddy. Get in there, so dude. Makings of a business isn't quite a business. You can put your lips on it. It's fine. Like some comedians if, When do we that. get more headphones, you'll be able to oh. heal tell your, the hear difference, yourself yeah. a little bit. Let's yeah. transition to this Aaron Rodgers shit that I'm also going to tell the Danny Duncan story. But, Austin, we're going to pull it up in a second, the Aaron Rodgers. Have you guys been following this at all? I got it. You've been on it? So, Aaron Rodgers, I never really liked him because he seemed like a prick. He goes head-to-head with Tom Brady. I'm a Tom Brady fanboy. And some He's, people say that Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady, even though he has six fewer Super Bowls mm-hmm. and has only won one AFC, NFC championship game. Mm-hmm. What were you saying? I was just saying that, uh, and from my world, I know him for dating one of the better actresses in you know in, in Hollywood, but she's a weirdo. And he, he has to, if you date Shailene Woodley, he has to be like a kind of a strange hippie, mm-hmm. like a little bit of a, you know, like he, he's hitting ayahuasca tea from time to time. Well, he might be a bit of a hippie in some ways, but yeah, he's but... also thoroughly based in others. Oh, yeah. So first of all, this one you have pulled up here, Austin, perfect. Watch him at the beginning of the season straight up lie about his COVID vaccination status. We still don't have clarity on Aaron Rodgers vaccination status, but here's what he said in August when asked if he was vaccinated. Yeah, I've been immunized. Um, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of conversation around it, around the he league, talks and like a Mitch lot Hedberg. of guys who have made statements and not made statements, owners who made statements. Um, you know, there's guys on the team that haven't been vaccinated. Uh, I think it's a personal decision. I'm not going to judge those guys. Packers coach Matt Lafleur says he- immunized does not does not mean he has a vaccine. Yeah, it could have yeah. just meant he came in contact with somebody who had COVID, so he's built up like herd he immunity. He got COVID, yeah. or he got a chicken pox vaccine when he was five, something like that too. Mm-hmm. But I love it, and then I love how he just starts rambling after the lie. Just there are some guys on the team who might have it or might not have it. Yeah, yeah. He's cool. I'm not going to judge those guys. <laughs> but now pull up him on the fucking Pat McAfee show here. I'm not going to lie. I realize I'm, I'm in the wait, 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 reset it, reset it. Because he says it like right away, I think. I realize I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now. So before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture uh, casket, I think I'd like to set the record straight on so many of the uh, blatant lies that are out there about myself right now. Press pause. I think that was basically it. That's pretty base. How awesome is it that this guy who... The whole world is so woke right now, and football is definitely a part of that. We're playing two different national anthems. Yeah. Players are taking knees. During Gay Pride Month, the Raiders are posting gay flags and shit, which I don't have a problem with that stuff necessarily. I just think it's so easy to go with the grain and and uh, take the side of yeah. all these people. You know, baseball's more more base than football. Oh, it's super yeah, base. That's yeah. why it uh, pulled its All Star game out of Georgia mm-hmm. after uh, voting. It's not based at all. They're no, fucking well, they had pussies. to do that, but they're, they're less pussies. They're less of a pussies than the NFL. That's for sure. Uh, that was a pussy move on their part to leave Georgia. It's a great Dude, state. They had to do that. And they also they didn't just want to fuck with Atlanta. Come on. It was like some of the owners were like, come on, it'd be better if we went to Florida or something. You know, I think that's what it was. Okay. Well, I might like them then. I love that Aaron Rodgers in this super liberal progressive fucking league is talking about the woke mob coming after him as if he's us. As oh, if no. he's getting canceled by fat chicks. No, no, he is, though. I think more and more people, like just your like ordinary people, are getting sick of the woke stuff now. Yeah. And eventually, it'll just be more popular to not give a fuck about it. And I think that's why people like Aaron Rodgers are more willing just to be honest now. Because nobody yeah. can fucking pretend to be this fake person for mm-hmm. so long without going absolutely insane. The, me- the media is still doing it, by the way. Howard Stern, an ex-hero of mine, went off on Aaron Rodgers. He's, he's, he's oh done, God. bro. Artie Lang was right about him. 
He Howard sucks, sucks now. He's he's unbelievable. Former hero. I mean, he was your biggest hero of all time. He basically he was your Derek Jeter. He was. He was yeah. my Derek Jeter. Yeah. Yeah. From the time he had Amy Schumer on his podcast, and she implied that her boyfriend raped her because they had sex when she wasn't in the mood. One she wasn't day. in the mood. And now. I'm not even exaggerating. They had sex when she wasn't in the mood, and Howard was piling on, making it sound like that guy came at her with a roll of duct tape and a ski mask on, yeah, as if he'd like jimmied a window open and. Yeah. So that's she was on, crazy. Dude. She I was mean, on her. She had the sniffles, and yeah. they had sex after dinner, and that's rape now. Yeah. Is that the? And now him going after Rogers, and it's not only him. Basically, every hack sports journalist I found on Twitter is like, it, how brave is that? It's like going into a petting zoo with a shotgun and calling it hunting. Yeah. We get it. You're pissed at fucking Aaron Rodgers. This guy, Matt Walsh, tweeted, and this is a really genius take on it. The sports media are far, far angrier at Aaron Rodgers for not getting vaccinated than Deshaun Watson for sexually assaulting dozens of women or Henry Ruggs for driving 125 miles per hour while drunk and killing someone. <laughs> yeah. And it's so true. Matt Walsh is uh, part of the Daily Wire with uh, Ben Shapiro, by the way. Oh, he's fucking based. Dude, then. it's sad, man. It's sad. You know, I hope that it doesn't really backfire on us. Like in five years, we find out that the vaccine gives you two inches of on co on your cock. Oh I, yeah, I think that would be the first thing they'd be plugging if that were true. Dude, well, I'm, of course, Danny. But I'm saying it's you know, what if, what if? Hey, you know, Nikki in a couple Minaj years, said that her uncle got some fat balls from taking the vaccine. <laughs> nutsack Ned, maybe he's immunized. Dude, what, we should have Nutsack here with just his nutsack out the entire time. Oh my god, that thing. <sighs> They kind of remind me of each other, Nutsack Ned and this kid. <laughs> Dude, Logan. Yeah, Logan, you're a Christian virgin, my friend. He said he'll he'll tell us what he's done sexually after the pod. He won't tell us on the pod. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah. I'm going to tell you guys, though. I went to the Danny Duncan live show here at the Regent Theater. <laughs> nice. I got footage of it, too. <laughs> can I send you? I have my speech on video now. Can I send it to you? Oh, oh shit. We can put it. You're going to put it in? That's sick. Okay. Well, can, well, if we play the audio of it into the microphone, then we can edit it in post. It in, yeah. Sweet. Let's do that. Okay. So Danny Duncan gets into town. I go over to his place, and I'm, I'm trying to actively on the job censor any sensitive information while telling the story. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But we go to his house. Beautiful $3.7 million mansion. We go from there to the fucking show. To the show at the Regent Theater. We get back there. There are three classes of people. There are Danny Duncan and all of his minions. Like his fan Jerry's, his inland Iggy's. There are all the people that work with his merch company and his touring company. That's another sect. And then there are just smoking hot chicks. It's pretty rock and roll back there. Nobody's doing coke because Danny's sober, but that's the feeling you get. Is he single too? Yeah, he fucks. Hell yeah. He Danny Duncan gets himself some pussy. But my girlfriend asked me, she's like, how do you tell the people apart? Like, how do you know which ones and which squad? And I was like, uh, anybody that doesn't have a shirt that says eat asshole or die or fucking babies for life, that's probably one of the executives with the touring company. And anybody with just like a set of boobs on their shirt is Danny Duncan's squad. Because that's that's his merch brand. It's really ingenious, actually. I mean, he's in Tilly's. He's in Zoomies. Just these, I mean, kind of no fat chicks is as close as I've gotten to the Danny Duncan style of merchandise. Not hating on it at I all. Love that shirt. So we're back there. And there's just like fucking one of the tour managers just has like, like some fucking fake lipped bimbo with huge plastic titties. Hot blondes running around. At some point, Danny Duncan comes up to me and he's like, hey, we're launching this company called Big Dick's Fried Chicken. It's a real company we're opening. And I believe him because he opened Danny Duncan's cream pies down on Melrose. The dude's not opposed to sinking money into vile, or at least vilely named, ventures. I say, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll do some sort of speech on this. And then I start thinking about it. and I'm like, okay, it's past my bedtime. I ate an edible an hour ago, so I'm fucking high. There are a thousand kids out there. I actually went up and down the line. I wanted to check it out and see what the line situation was like because I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I used to go to rock concerts as a kid. I would see bands like Brand New or My Chemical Romance, and I would be outside of the venue, one of the fanboys, and I would see the tour bus, and I would view the musicians as above humanity. They were deities, 
And I just wanted to walk along the line and see all these kids that felt the same way about Danny Duncan. Because now I'm backstage. I'm one of the cool guys. And I wanted to check that out. Mm -hmm. I walked the line. Plenty of Danny Mullen fans out there that were running up and like asking yeah. for pictures and shit. So Hell yeah. fucking shout out to those guys. Hey, shout out to all the fans that were there. But we walked the line. I started getting mobbed a little bit, so we got to go back in. We're backstage. One of Danny Duncan's managers is like, yeah, man, pump up the, the big dicks ch fried chicken business we're opening, but don't be too vulgar, you know? Like, because I was talking about like, well, what do, what do you want me to do? I'm just going to give a speech. He's like, yeah, yeah, just give a speech. And I'm like, uh, should I just say that like, if, if you get a small dick, we won't serve you? And he's like, no, man, that's, that's a little offensive. Don't say that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm definitely going to go out and fucking say that. <laughs> so... We're the fuck the show's going on. Like these kids are going absolutely ape shit. Like packed rock concert like venue. There's a balcony that's full of a lot of the parents and it's a lot of kids downstairs. But there are not just kids. There are some people in their early twenties who I'm sure can enjoy a beer. Mm -hmm. The show's going on. He's got his um his little friend, the uh the African American one. Very, very nice guy. Mm -hmm. He's he's getting thrown into the crowd. That's so messed up. <laughs> so messed up. It's so hilarious. Mia, that's one of the fucking funniest things that Leo has said was he was like, "How does Danny Duncan not get kicked off YouTube?" And I was like, what? "Danny Duncan, he doesn't do anything that gnarly." And Leo was like, "I don't know, man. He just like fucks with midgets, <laughs> dude. He he fucks heavily with midgets. Like in every fucking video he has. If you if you watch a Danny Duncan video, he's gonna fuck with a midget." At some point. Yeah. A lot of vlog people have like midget companions. Like yeah. Logan Paul has like. Yeah, a yeah. And he too. says he's his best friend. He hasn't hung out with him in years. Obviously, that's not true. Where is, he, where is he now? It's a tradition in show business. I'm sure yeah. court jesters had a companion of midget. Of course. Howard Stern, the man show 20 yeah. years ago, all had midgets. But Wizard of Oz, they had the lollipop kids, just a bunch of midgets. The they were fucking with midgets, midgets there. Yeah, they were fucking with midgets. Disabled or like magical yeah. creatures. Of course. Um, I mean, Danny, think about it. That was the Wizard depends of Oz. Depends if you're in Asia or not. If you're in Asia, they're magical creatures. They need to be killed for boner <laughs> pills. Like, if, you, if I gave you that, idea that was the wizard of oz idea why don't we have a bunch of fucking midgets walk around with lollipops and dance what do you think about that i love it we'll do it right outside the culver hotel yes. where they all stayed during the yes. filming of wizard of oz but yes to uh to answer your question they were fucking with midgets mm -hmm. and i know this like the 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 midget in question was super cool so i'm not talking shit but they had a security guard who looked like an iraq veteran who could bench 400 pounds gigantic dude was grabbing the midget Stop by it. The scruff of his shirt. No. And his belt and just no. hurling him into the crowd. No, dude. <laughs> no. It was up on Mia's story, the guy jumping off a trampoline yeah, into the crowd. That, that is got worse. so fucking funny. At one point, the giant ex Iraq veteran dude just grabbed a kid who might have been 10 and just shot put him back into the crowd. Come on. That was going on. So eventually, Danny Duncan from the stage, and it was fucking awesome to get this opportunity. And I'm psyched that Danny likes me enough to have me out. Danny's just like, I got a guest coming to the stage right now. Fucking Danny Mullen. I get up there. Mm -hmm. There's a free the slaves chant that starts mm -hmm. going. Some kids are fucking amped. And I no just decided way. like a minute before I went on, fuck it. There's no like, I'm not going to come out here doing some wacky like KFC character. Uh. I'm just going to act like a fucking black guy <laughs> and talk about this fucking chicken company. <laughs> So I have audio of it here, and we're going to have video of it on the YouTube. Let's see what I got here. Oh, my God. I'll let uh, Leo. And I'm, like, grabbing my nuts the whole time and shit. So uh, we, got, we got free chicken sandwiches for you guys outside. Yeah. At the, uh, at the, at the big, big chicken shop, but I got my unofficial uh, spokesperson here today. He's going to give you guys a few words. Yeah. How it changes. Yeah. 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 This is sick, dude. There's so many people, dude. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. You up in this building as a big ass motherfucking dick. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you ain't allowed to shop at Big Dick's world famous motherfucking shit. <laughs> I'm going to be in front of every franchise. <laughs> Not only do you have to have a big dick, our chickens are bred to have big cocks on them. This is all about big dick. Big cock on them. Your 
he was saying that my uh, I had an all access pass they, that said I have a little dick on it. They all said that, which is hilarious. Yeah. Everything Danny Duncan sells has a cock joke, which you got. He has Danny Duncan water that says like brewed for purity on the Virgin Islands, no. and is like his tour bus says Big Dick is back in town. And even the it's fucking so funny. the VIP passes say I have a fucking small dick on him. It's awesome. It's smart man, it's got a good fun. I mean, it's, he's doing well. Dude, I, uh, so I did that, and after I did that, like, all the black dudes that were in Danny's entourage fucking loved it. Oh, of course, They were dude. dapping me up backstage. Dude, they love a good dick joke, bro. Black guys love a good dick joke. I, I just don't know if they thought, like, I don't know how many people there thought that's actually how I talk. Like, yo, what up, man? I got a big-ass motherfucking dick. Dude, nowadays, like, that, you could easily be a white man that talks like that. <laughs> yeah. It's not a big deal, dude. Nobody would really second-guess it. So, like... Danny Duncan doesn't sing or do a podcast. So, like, what are these YouTube stage shows like? Like, what do they consist of? He just, it was just, like, a lot of hype. Like, they were playing music. He had a good MC, dude. Like, a good right. hype man who was getting the crowd going. Danny's just crowd surfing. They have games. Like, they bring a kid up or a group of kids up, and they inflate this carnival like game where there are two platforms and both guys get these weapons it's like a darth maul style double padded saber right. and then you just go to battle to knock oh, shit, the other like, guy it's out like american platform. gladiators right uh, that, that sort game? of thing yeah that's so fun they're shaving kids heads they're throwing okay. midgets in the audience it's just pandemonium with midgets, for like dude. an hour it's fun though huh? yeah people loved it yeah, yeah people loved it and i was psyched i got to go up there and get a part of that it was yeah. dude again it was my sunday i was fucking high i was not expecting to do anything mm. so it was just fun to be involved in a live show like that hell yeah that's how it went that down. Great. I'm glad and you then did it. Afterwards, that's when the party really started. Did you party? I got my dick sucked, bitch. My girlfriend. No. Back at home. <laughs> and I mean, not my girlfriend. Oh. No. Uh, this is obviously bullshit. It was but young. No, we. I. Uh, I actually complained to Danny before the show. I was like, "Dude, it's past my bedtime. I gotta go home." I was being such a little bitch. Mm. And then the second the show was over, I drove home and promptly went to sleep. Really? Yeah. Dude, your uh, your love for sleep is, I mean, look, it's it's valid. I do see a lot of research that says like not only key to long life, key to high performance. Can I get those solid eight hours in? Yeah, dude, and I feel like a piece if I don't wake up at six. If I wake up at six thirty or seven, my schedule's all effed. You're, really, six thirty will fuck your schedule up. I I like the psychological advantage of being up at that six. Mm -hmm. Colon zero zero. And you go and you make your coffee first thing you do. Make or what? my coffee, do a little reading, a little meditation. It makes your day feel like a lot longer and mm. more productive if mm. you wake up like earlier. Austin, what time did you wake up this morning? I wake up at 6 a.m. like okay. every day because okay. I basically sleep outside and the temperature change like wakes me up. <laughs> what time and do I have you to take a shit. What time do you go to bed? Uh... You know, it depends. Like, I mean, there are nights like a new boss comes out in RuneScape and I stay up all night. But uh, honestly, Danny has kind of inspired me to like try to go to bed around 10 or 11 and not just fucking stay up all night and then be Dino, tired. Dino, what time day. do you get up in the morning? Uh, whenever the fuck I get up. Mm -hmm. It really depends. Whenever he, whenever he hears the smack of nutscat, yeah. nutsack on taint yeah, when his dad's yeah. pounding out his mom. <laughs> 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 oh, Logan, how do you uh what do you think that Dino brings to the uh the podcast? How do you feel about his performance? <laughs> I don't know, he generally brings a sense of basity. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, talking to that microphone right actually. into it. Yeah. A sense of what? Basity. Oh, basity. I like yeah. that. It's a new word. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. He, Get in he, the fucking he, mic, dude. He just seems like kind of a normal person. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, uh, compared to uh, we're I'm, sick. I'm gonna disagree with that assessment, first of all, but it, it, He's like the normal degenerate person. You just you're so, not gonna talk to that microphone yeah. no matter what we do. Listen, yeah, so get the lips. Right. Just <laughs> make contact with the lips the entire time. Speak Good. to the top of it. <laughs> yeah. You just have to okay. touch top. Mm -hmm. The lips have to touch. Mm -hmm. the yeah. Go. Yeah, so he's kinda like a half free, normal degenerate person. Nice. So he like has all the like degenerate habits, <laughs> but he has but he's still sort of normal. <laughs> and then if he like took a shower and like sobered up for a little bit, uh -huh. he could pass as An okay person. Nice. He it is interesting an okay to see what, a, what, what an actual fan thinks of Dino. Dino what do you think of Austin? No, no I actually like Dino. Austin? We talked after one of the live streams, and he's a pretty cool person. What do you think of Austin? Austin's also a pretty cool person. I gave him a bottle of water after 
after the last live podcast. That was nice. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 mouth. I, when you walked in here, I could have sworn that I've seen you before, but I didn't know. Yeah. What Obviously, dude, he's been to all the pods. He's been. Um, that's cool, man. And also, I just want to say that the mm-hmm. idea that Dino can be normal is mm-hmm. bullshit. Because when we tried to get him laid in that last video that just came out, what was the first thing he did? I'm your worst nightmare, bitch. <laughs> yeah, Shows yeah, him the was, rape shirt. That was yeah, a no, great no. joke. But then he, I mean. It was funny. I liked then, it. For entertainment, it was great. But let's not say he's normal. Right, yeah, dude, yeah, Danny, yeah, he, yeah. I mean, look, he had a couple of women um, interested in him. And he said he was going to take him to the Motel 6 and pound him out. I loved that, too. That was incredible. I loved it. But he's that, not course, normal. But he's not normal. Yeah. For you to say that, I mean, you don't get enough pussy to say something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say, I was homeschooled from kindergarten through high school, and I had better social skills than that. Yeah, no, that's right. I'm not dude. so sure. I'm not so sure. I, 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 I like the chicks liked it, because at first, it seemed like they had no interest in Dino, and as soon as he said he was going to pound him out in the Motel 6, mm-hmm. they seemed more interested. It's a great brand. I would love to meet his girlfriend, I'm not going to lie. Have them both sitting on the couch. <laughs> Let's talk about your girlfriend. Yeah, what's her name? Her name's Melissa. How's her face look? <laughs> she she has a pretty face. Pretty face. Mean, uh, is that a eyes. seven? What are seven eyes? out of ten on the face? What do her eyes look like? Her eyes are brown. Okay, she has brown eyes. Light brown or dark brown? Looking back, I think it's dark brown. Okay, pretty average eyes yeah. then. I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I don't even. You already I've, asked me about I've, my girlfriend. Dude, as soon as as soon as he did all that bumbling shit at the beginning, I immediately fell in love with him. That, that was classic. You cannot what stage what he did. You really made a huge mess. It was incredible. And I was a genuinely upset. You made a huge mess at the top. He of the show. licked the rug though. He did. Do that, that was nice. Mm-hmm. I, the checks mix thing is the thing that pisses me off the most. <laughs> Because those, they might have been on the couch, but you tipped it upside down and spilled it all over the couch and floor. Like, why? Oh, that was so funny, man. I wish I could be back at that moment right now, man. That was incredible. Yeah, I looked down and saw it spilled. I'm like, oh, shit. Danny's going to Danny's going to have a fit over that. Yeah, see. trying to clean it up, but. <laughs> he knows you well, dude. You know, yeah. you know, he's probably seen everything you've ever. Have you seen everything he's ever put out? No. All right, all right. So, Austin, I mean, you think it's a bummer having to drive here and leave this equipment here. Whenever some asshole spills Chex Mix in the house, it's the rats and the mice that come to my domain. Uh, I went out back at about 6 a.m. the other morning to do some laundry. I hear not squeaking, but hissing. I look over my fence to my main backyard area. There is a probably pound and a half. That's an exaggeration. There's a really big mouse, though. Really? There is a mouse that looks like a rat, but it's round, so I know it's a mouse. Gigantic. And it's acting oddly. It's jumping up and down, and it's not intimidated when I poke my head over the fence. It can definitely see me. I go in. I get some paper towels. I put them under the sink, get them wet, ball it up, and I hurl it at him. Good 60 mile per hour pitch. Hurl the fucking paper towel at this mouse. I miss, but it does not, as you would expect, scurry off. It charges and attacks the paper towel. What? This really happened? There was a rabid mouse in my fucking backyard, and I think it was a direct result of the snacks we eat on the podcast that we don't clean up properly. I had a a rat go into my Mustang and bite a hole through my fucking center console because i left food in there how did he uh get in your car well i live like in the woods he's russian mm. oh that makes sense he uh and, well coat, and then my coat dad hanging. put oh, a mouse trap in the back seat and i was reaching around the back seat <laughs> trying to grab a lighter to smoke and no. it fucking clamped on my hand <laughs> that's fucked up i didn't know rats could get in cars dude that's really really frightening if if i'm driving on the freeway and a rat just comes out of nowhere i'll i'll crash and i'll probably die yeah who knows how long i was driving around with that thing right what would you do danny would you grab it and choke it out a rat yeah if If a rat just uh, the sable all of a sudden a rat pops out from the fucking you know i don't know right under your it's right at your feet does he seem hostile um he's sniffing around he's quick He's fast. He's real wiry. Yeah. I, he's really, really wiry. He's really wiry. Really wiry. In that case, I might enter him in some sort of rat agility contest. Uh-huh. I don't know. There's something you can... A good rat is a value these days. Okay. In the um, novel American Psycho, Patrick Bateman stumbles across a rat. It comes out of his toilet, actually, out of the sewer, and he detains it and starves it for two weeks, and then he sticks it up a girl's pussy. Yeah. Yeah. 
I uh, I think that when I watch that movie, and I've, I've seen it twice, I do it's the not... book. It's the book where you get the really nitty gritty stuff. Exactly. So you read the book. I I never wrap my head around that rat uh, part like that. Well, it's um, it's not in it's the not movie. Even I don't in the think. Movie. In the book, oh, wow, okay. he goes. Well, first of all, he does it a little bit better than I described it. He goes to Petco stuff. and he gets a habit trail. I think they're called, which is the plastic little tubing that you let the hamsters and the rats run around in. He lubes that up and sticks it up a girl's pussy. Oh my god. Then he drops a bunch of cheese down it so it lands like in her vaginal area no. and he lets the starved rat go into the tube and it just climbs into her vagina and eats her from the inside that's the most <laughs> fucked up thing ever but i do like to i do like to believe that he just envisioned that he imagined all of it at the end because is that what happens it's, it's probably the, it's probably the case it was nothing it was nothing was real because that motherfucker was a sick bastard he won't say it definitively the author but that's what i believe to be the case that it's all because so much of the book leads up to that conclusion people constantly misname him they're like hey halberstram hey peterson hey anderson and his last name's bateman he's constantly being misidentified yeah, and it's a good book, and it's, it sounds like I'm a sicko for enjoying that, but my girlfriend read it, and she liked it, too. What, did you she recommend the, it to her, or she yeah, read it back in the day? I recommended it to her. And she, what? She read the hamster scene, you loved it. You recommended the rat that book scene. to her? She loved it. It was one of her favorite books she's read in a while. Um, it's I, very funny. It's very, very uh -huh. comic, the novel. I mean, it's, yeah, even the movie was uh, comic, but I, it's funny. I feel like he watched that movie, but he didn't. He didn't get that narcissistic thing that a lot of men get. Like at the beginning, when American you really, Psycho. You kind of want to be yeah, Patrick Bateman a little bit, though. At the beginning, you kind of want to be him a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a great looking guy. He's a great looking guy. He gets a lot of pussy. He's wealthy, you know. But what did you did you watch the movie? No, I haven't seen it. Is it because it's uh, it's against the Christian uh, religion? No, I just haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the devil being in mainstream media? People use that because it's edgy, mm -hmm. and people it, it gets a reaction from a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I, they yeah. use that to. But you don't think it's it's detrimental to you know God's cause? <laughs> I just find it weird that people rep Satan when he's like the god of rape and yeah, no, murder, rape and, murder yeah. and like all these things that they're opposed to. And I'm like, that's sort of like. Well, the devil was in you earlier, Austin. He likes right? raping people. Yeah, he was right on the top of the show. Yeah, Satan well, is not a good guy. Well, do you think the devil but, got in what? Do you Satan's think the devil was in? Guy, do you think Satan was a little bit in Austin earlier t today? Well, if you go by most uh, most interpretations of the Bible, there's a little bit of him in everyone. So yeah, you could say that's true. Uh, we should bring Chad in, <laughs> our ghost hunter. I think Austin was demonically possessed. I agree, and uh, his eyes got really big. Dude, something came over me. I don't even know. Oh, well, it was I think scary. I think we got a video, and I think you're going to be dressed as a priest the entire time, Logan. Okay. Logan, wouldn't it be funny if he was dressed as like a like one of those like medieval priests the entire, every time he's on the pod, dude? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> or in a main channel video. I'm yeah. I am curious of this phenomenon of clearly. I mean, there are three Christians before us. Mm -hmm. Christian men like the channel. Can you tell me about that? Because I, I feel like a lot of stuff I do, maybe less so now. We haven't raided a church service in a while, for yeah. instance. It's getting less non-Christian, but uh -huh. how do you feel about it as a religious man? But but before I say anything, I do have to say that we often do say that God is on our side when we do videos. Mm -hmm. We do feel that there's a, there's an entity that's on our side. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. And I and, and I say it's God. I do wear a rosary or a cross every single shoot just for the travel uh, and and stuff like that because I am religious, sort of. Catholic. Anyway, I'm Catholic exactly. Yeah, Catholics are cool as long as we repent, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, Unlike you, I don't but, need to go to a priest to talk to God. So Right. That's cool. That's cool. I need to go to a priest and, you know, I, I should do a confession. You just got to time it. Just five minutes before you die. That's right, <laughs> it's dude. the most ridiculous loophole ever. It's I can, a great loophole. You need yeah, it, too. You need it, too. To and repent? Then, yes. but that, And then we'll just spend time in purgatory. We won't go straight to heaven. Mm -hmm. We'll spend time in, like, the waiting room. Who do you think uh, leads a less Christian lifestyle, me or you? Um, ooh, because of your porn? I think it's still me. I only I jerk off the me. titty porn <laughs> now. Okay, that's I good. jerk off just it's a titty model. All right, all right. I would say that probably me. I litter more than you. I know that. That's God cares about the animals. I don't think, I don't know if God, I don't know what God cares well, about. Well, Noah that's cared problem. about the animals and he was a servant of God, right? Uh-huh. I think I have a heart, but then when I see you around Brando, you have the same, I mean, you you feel the same things about that. Uh, I love Brando. doggies. Yeah, yeah. I love your kitty. Yeah, yeah. So you you love animals. So it's, I don't know. Except I don't know. earthworms. Earthworms. Right? Was... I think I've treated women a little worse than you have. 
Hmm. Probably. Yeah, I had my days in college where I was yeah, you a wait complete a frat guy dude. I forgot you. Yeah, no, no, no. We're the same. It's pretty we're close. It's close. It's pretty close. To touch on your question, though, I would say I think a lot of the reason why Christians are a fan of the channel and stuff like that is because Christi Christianity is one of the only like bastions or communities of people that are still like there is this idea of what a man is supposed to be. You know, like you should be strong like Samson and all this stuff. And then there's all this stuff in society that just wants you to be a fucking weak, soy boy, fucking commie cuck. And the Bible doesn't really, you know, vibe with that shit. That's fair. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of so, sense. So the Bible's based. The Bible's hella based. Dude. Yeah. It's, it's the source of all base knowledge. It, <laughs> it absolutely makes sense that Christians tend to be conservative. And right now, conservatives are more inclined to find our channel funny. That so, totally makes sense. Is that what it is? Or let's hear yeah, your I take. I agree. But before I get to that, I think Leo doesn't go to a confessional as much as he should because he can't get past the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting blown in church parking lots? I mean, yes. That's that's the most exciting parking lot to get blown, Danny. I feel like I fucked It's also, it is, don't ever do that because it is a felony, yeah, or, it, right? It, it's a felony. I was say, it's also super convenient because you get blown in the parking lot and then go inside and get forgiven. Yeah. There is, there is uh, a If law. you're a priest, you can get blown inside the church and uh, then stay uh, inside and get forgiven. There is a, I, I believe there's a law about it, you can't be a certain distance from a church again you just have to be molesting the boys with inside it. inside inside there, yeah. okay there with is a, a problem out. a lot with priests and stuff like molesting boys and then they covering it up and stuff but if you look into the statistics like you're more likely to get molested by your teacher in school than you are like a cat I, I think priest. family members number like a creepy uncle's number one I just I think it's the uh the hypocrisy because I mean it's frowned upon for school teachers to bang their students but it is against God to fuck the candle boy. The That's true boy. too. But there is like a really big issue with them trying as hard as they could to like save face yeah. and cover the asses of the people who got caught when yeah. they totally should have like turned them over to the authorities or whatever. Right. Logan, were you molested as a no. altar boy? I wasn't. <laughs> I was Poor. I was never Catholic, so I wasn't molested as an altar boy. All right, cool. So tell no continue though. What do you think about this? Uh, why do you think uh, religious? What does a religious man feel about Danny overall? Yeah. Well, we saw his Reddit posts, <laughs> except for the ones he deleted. I hope he didn't, dude. If he deleted like six or seven hate ones real quick, dude. I'm sure so. if he did do that, I'm sure there are people who are familiar with him on Reddit who Hell can no. dig those accounts up, and we'd maybe hear about it. Yeah, I read quite a few of his posts, so if you have any information about this man, you DM it to me, buddy, and then next week, we'll have him tied up, hogtied on that couch, mm -hmm. and me and Danny will just be ruthlessly beating his ass mm -hmm. on the podcast. You have anything you want to confess over there? Not really. It's just so I have some political views that aren't uh, popular. What's that? Uh, I don't really think I have a political I ideology that I can gravitate to, mostly mm -hmm. because I have opinions that are on different issues that are just deal breakers with that, with that ideology. You don't okay. like the homeless. Closer to the mic. Yeah. Closer so, to the mic. Get right up in there, dude. Yeah, so so most right-wing ideologies won't have me because I don't have a strong opinion on abortion. Okay. And most right-wing ideologies are very vehemently pro-life. And also on abortion, most left-wing ideologies won't have me because I don't like abortion. And don't think people should have them. Okay, so but you're I, like a Tim Pool. Yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah, and then I also kind of rec because the vaccine is in the news right now. I recognize that states have the authority to do a vaccine mandate, while the federal government might not. But I also don't think they should vaccine mandate, even though they have the authority to. Yeah, it's so I was I was mostly getting rid of like some political things you addressed me for. Yeah, the, no. the vaccine mandate is fucking retarded. It's not going to go yeah. through, right? It's already getting challenged in court a bunch of times. Yeah, and I also, I, I don't buy the statistics they're throwing out of like 72% of people or whatever are vaccinated. I think it's w lower than that. Though, with people now being forced to get it basically to make any sort of money in the country, unless they make like fun of fat people on the internet like we do, yeah. then... Uh, then I can understand why more people are getting vaccinated. But I still don't think that it's 70% of people have already uh, got it. It's not so, going to go into effect, though, right? They're not going to be able to get that through. There's so, there's no way if you work in a company of 100 people, it. they're going to make everybody get vaccinated. I think they, that they already, already are. They, like, uh, ben Shapiro is suing the federal right government. Exactly. And I've, so I've, from what I've heard, people in the government, like the judges, whoever has, this has to go through, aren't going to let it pass. 
and they're fed up with all the it's, mandate bullshit so, coming yeah. out. I could jump in on that. It's there too are like much. Two parts to that order. There was the one part where Biden requires all federal contractors and all federal employees, bar like the postal workers and everyone else who has a union, to have the vaccine, which he is allowed to do. That's well within his authority. Mm-hmm. The second part was using OSHA to like force every company that has more than 100 employees to vaccinate everyone, uh-huh. which is super controversial. Mm-hmm. No one knows if they actually have the authority to do that. And they're so, trying to make it to where they're trying to pass another one where if you have less than 100 employees, you still have to do it. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. going to get vaccinated, Austin. How do you feel about that? Dude, I, I, I'm not getting the fucking poke. They, I honestly would mandate, love it if I got video. arrested <laughs> for, for not video? getting vaccinated we get it, or something. We get it for a video. No, we don't, 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 don't have to get streams. it. I get, that's right. The bosses. What? what if that's a video I said, just vaccinating I, Austin? Vaccinating Austin <laughs> is a video? That's pretty funny. Yeah. How pissed would you be if while you were sleeping, I just jabbed you in the arm with a vax needle? I would be kind of mad. And it's not, it's not necessarily that I have this huge fear of the vaccine. It's that I... <laughs> I, I disagree with their fucking enforcement of it and everything. And I'm glad gotcha. that I didn't get it a long time ago because oh. then I would have already bent the knee before they started forcing it on mm-hmm. me. And there are tons of people who got the vaccine before that who regret yeah. it now for that same reason because they're like, damn, they got me. Yeah. yeah. No, no, ideologically is why I'm opposed to getting the vaccines. Same. It's not the vaccine itself. But how awesome would that be? Like, say, for instance, one of our parties, one of our party videos like we did down in Temecula. Like, we do hey, events. everybody's going to go fuck. No, no, we just, while well, these guys are hammered, we just like, we, we fucking. We a nurse in there? No, we just, yeah, we fucking, you and I hold Austin down on the floor and a nurse just jams in <laughs> in his butt. The beauty of it is that YouTube would just be like, ha ha, fuck that Nazi. Right. They would not even strike the video. You could forcibly administer. That's funny. A medicine like that with a needle and YouTube would just fucking clap. Have Logan do it. Have or Logan jab like him. A doctor and jump out of a bush with a blowgun and just shoot him with a dart. There we go, right in the neck, <laughs> right in the fucking neck. The vaccine, Dino. Logan, <laughs> dude. Oh man. So, uh, they, that's how, how many girlfriends have you had? I have had, with including the current one, four. Wow. Though I'd say the current one's like my only real one, because mm-hmm. the other three, they're they're people I met, and then they live. Right. One I met in a summer camp. Two I met at anime uh-huh. conventions. See, I just was confirming just that you don't hate them. you don't hate on Reddit because you're not an incel. See, it's clear. Yeah, yeah not an incel. That's right. You get pussy. Yeah. Well, you are pussy. a voluntary. Yeah, I'm a voluntary celibate. celibate. Yeah. I like yeah, it. Incel's involuntary. Ha 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 ha. But incel involuntary. <laughs> yeah, these he's a voluntary. Are good for my cock. He's not. Yeah, he's not involuntary. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He's voluntary celibate. What's a, I don't even celibacy is a huge topic to tackle right now. I know it's it's a lot, man. We've had a lot on this pod already. You jerk man. off all the time, though, right? What do you jerk off to? <laughs> <laughs> well, he deleted those posts off his Reddit because they were probably interesting. What is it? if it's blacked? If you're strictly into black cocks, you're going to hell. It's mostly anime porn. You jerk off to anime yeah. porn because that feels less severe in your mind. <laughs> yeah. Such a Reddit guy. It's like drinking beer or wine versus hard alcohol. I love you, Logan. You're a fucking Thank champ. You. What happens? Have you tried the virtual reality anime <laughs> Thank porn? Thank you. <laughs> no, have you? Yeah, dude, you're missing out, dude, dog. What is, I, I know my dude. my youngest brother has a VR headset. Daddy, definitely go over to Austin's and, and get on the VR. I made VR a joke with it. Sometime. With him, I went to another world for a while. About him like watching VR porn, and we're like, "You tell you all right?" He's like, "No." <laughs> I had King was, Croc so and Cigar obvious. Guy come to my house on stream and try VR porn. RIP on my, both uh, of them, I guess. Huh? Headset, yeah. Mm. Like, maybe that's what scared them off. They're yeah. both gone now. So sad. Oh, yeah. I just also had a UFC viewing party at my house this weekend. I would talk about what was the most persistent topic we of conversation. Can't. One day, I hope everybody knows. Oh, my knows. God. Yeah. Yeah. There was some juicy drama that was like all anybody was talking about at mm-hmm. the UFC broadcast. Mm-hmm. I was high. I passed out in the middle of the main event. Yeah. The people it are just was... going to... I just turned into the fattest druggie. Every story I've told today involved me being high. Yeah. Well, you're not really... You get high a couple times a week. And, and it happens to be the weekends. The embarrassing thing was in both occasions, I was high off 2.5 milligrams of marijuana. Yeah, That's it? Nothing. Yeah, I took a 2.5 milligram edible during the UFC party and just fell asleep. No, you and took then, a hit of Iggy's weed. Which I did. Your mistake. I did. I took a hit of that. That's so more I, than 2.5 milligrams. So I was total dude, about Iggy, six. Six milligrams. I don't know maybe. what the fuck Iggy smokes, but I hope it's not laced because that shit is so strong. Iggy gets the best weed ever. Uh, it's insane what he smokes. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's disturbing. 
Yeah, it's because he does like this Native American dance around the weed patch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it affects fertility. Yeah. Dude, Logan's getting all his zingers in today. Yeah, man. yeah. He started off a yeah. little rocky. Yeah, I forget. Yeah. He made some joke I really didn't like at the top of the show. Oh, yeah. You really hated it. Yeah, because he was making a mess. Mm-hmm. It's You can't be this dancing clown <laughs> while you're spilling alcohol on the rug. <laughs> oh, you can't. You should make him do... Uh, you should make him shoot uh, a porn, though, with his... Like, you should hire him with his uh, O'Neill... Drone photography to shoot like Iggy's next porn. Would you be in the background of a porn in priest robes? <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah, okay, great. All right. So. Dude, you know what I'm talking about? Like those could, old could friars. I holy water on them while they're. T- Danny, we're yeah. talking about like the priest that were in like like Robin Hood. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. those friars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, That's we gotta sh- we gotta shave his head properly. Yes, too. dude. Like get yeah, the bald spot on yeah, top. Yeah, we gotta get that little bald spot. Is that yeah. what the fuck is that? Is that by design or do they just I all coincidentally they, go bald like I that? I think it's mm. like I think Munich's. They would shave the top of their head they like would that, shave it, right? And then they would remove their testicles so that they wouldn't be horny and like go. But they would fuck do shit. that. It's something to do with that they're offering it to God, right? Because God, that's what he sees at the top of your head. Or that, something that makes, like that. That makes maybe. more sense than the eunuch argument. I thought it was maybe just to make them less fuckable. So then they're less likely to fuck. <laughs> I, I like that. that would be more of a visible Good thing 10-year-old exactly boys can't see that. I think I could get pussy. Sack. I could still get pussy with that haircut. I think it'd be fun. All right, guys. I think we're uh, winding down here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This is um, this has been an interesting pod. There was some turmoil, some unresolved turmoil. There was Logan. I guess we had to cough up two grand, Leo. I know. I guess each. <laughs> each. Give it to Austin. Um, Logan came. Thank you. I'm gonna Venmo you for that uh, beef jerky. By the way, that was. And I will Venmo you some gas money, oh, buddy. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate your positive yeah. posts on Reddit. Yeah, yeah we re- really, we really do, man. Yeah. And- I finally gave and Austin his live stream donation. So now he has sixteen dollars in the bank. That's right, thank dude. You, he you. put he gave him a little, <laughs> <laughs> he gave him a donation. And this has been great. I'm glad uh I'm glad we were all able to get together today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and everybody fun. should believe in themselves. What do you think, right? I tend to believe that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Believe in yourself. Thank you. And Leo. uh make sure that you stay uh positive. It's another one. I think that's a sweet note to go out another on. One. What about you? Give him give him some a little tidbit. Um, look twice before crossing the street. Ooh, I like that. Do it I in like the black that. voice. Hey, motherfucker. Look twice before crossing the street. Mm-hmm. Sort out your recyclables in your garbage. Yeah, yeah. Wear oh, a yeah. condom if you don't know if the bitch is on birth control. That's right. You ain't trying to get that. The worst STD there is. And That's lastly, a baby. when you up in the club, mm-hmm. shit, you best be drinking Hennessy. Oh, hell yeah, man. And that's not even whiskey. It's cognac, motherfucker. Mm. It's cognac. Yeah, and and big dicks, fucking fried chicken. Oh hell yeah! You you gotta get that big dick fried chicken. They they frying dicks. <laughs> they frying, frying ch- chicken dicks. It's chicken man. dicks, baby. It's big cock, fucking frying big cocks dicks. on cocks. All right, I just got to do it. Everybody's got to give a little a, a little inspiring sentence, just a quick one, and then we're ending the pod. Go, Logan, uh, up. Just do whatever you set out to do. What it whatever you want to do, just. <laughs> Finish it, I guess. Yeah. Are you gonna finish your <laughs> abortion of a photography business? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, guess, dude, his his inspiring words were just uh, th- just just do it what you set out to do, and <laughs> I guess I guess finish it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm, I'm, shit, that was funny, Dino. I'm not you're an up. Inspirational person. <laughs> Dino, you're up. But be inspiring. Go. Uh, I got two microphones. <laughs> it always starts with uh, uh, uh <laughs> be based. <laughs> Yeah, yeah B-Base, uh-huh. read your motherfucking Bible. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God. Austin, Thank what you. about you, dude? God, you had an, a very, very emotional podcast today. End it with, on a positive note. Uh, I think that if you really want to become one of the greats, then you have to set some sort of seemingly in in. <laughs> Like incredibly difficult goal. Uh, this is every manga for the end of ever. your life. It, it is uh, that is like a, a lot of what is in an anime. Sure. And even if you fall short, you'll still be surprisingly far. That's and right. the only people like the the like Danny I and I had talked about this before with Elon Musk and fucking Jeff Bezos. They were those little kids that were like, I want to go to space. I want to make rocket ships yeah. and shit. And then they did step by step. He started a book company, whatever. But their end goal was to go to fucking space. Yeah. And if if you want to become a, a Jeff Bezos, then you got to do something like that. I like that, actually. I think everybody got better today.
This was an interesting pod, Dan. Yeah. All right, guys. That's the Leo and Danny show. Goodbye.